Hi Carol. So, first thing to note is if you look in the type column, you'll see you have a studio project, cloud project, single file project, which are the type of projects that you have created, world server package. You can have a lot of different types of products, projects, depending on the type of work you're doing and the sort of files that you're, you're opening. To activate the batch tasks, just go to the, the project that you want to use them on, or the files for that matter. Go to batch tasks. And if you can't see anything, <coughs> you need to open the file. And you'll probably notice that it says, do you need to re or do you want to revert the native file to STLXC format before opening? So open it, which just means the file hasn't been saved and so there's no real project being created. So if I just say, control S there and save it, now there's a project created there and I close it. If I go back to my batch tasks, and this time I can do it from the files view, it's just the same whether you do it from the projects or the files view. In the projects view, it allows you to do it with specific files, but if you're using the single file project, you'll only ever have one here anyway. So you click on batch tasks, and now you'll have all your batch tasks. And so if I wanted to run an analyze on it, I'd run and click on the ana analyze files. If I wanted to do just a simple word count, I'd just do a translation count or a word count something like that. There's different tasks here. You choose which one you want to do. To run it is really simple. You would click on it. I haven't got a TM attached to this particular project, so the results are not going to be very helpful, but I can click on, the, on there to run the batch task. Click on next. Change any settings that if I want to, based on here, on here, and then just finish. It will run through and do it. And now if I click on the reports, I'll have a report. In this case, the report's not going to be very helpful. It's given me something, I suppose. It's given me the fact that I've got two new segments, 12 words, etc., etc. So you can get the reports like that. That's how you would do it. So that answers your question on how to access the batch tasks. So the project wizard is really simple. When you're in the projects view, you will click on new project, new local project. That's it. So now you're going to create a project using the project wizard instead. And this is going to create what's known as a standard studio project and you'll have this studio project written here as opposed to single file project and if you do it this way it allows you to add as many files as you like it'll automatically run all the reports and everything else for you as you create the project you can save the settings that you used as a default template which saves you having to do them all later because your TMs your turn bases your QA settings everything will already be set for you based on whatever configurations you want to use. And you can have a different configuration for each customer. There's a lot of benefits to using this, this wizard as opposed to the single file project, which is good and it's quite quick if you're just doing the odd file here and there. But if, when you're working seriously with the product, you should really use the studio projects because it offers a lot more flexibility. So you would just follow the, follow the wizard through, it's dead simple. You can also do it from the welcome view when you drop your files in, or if you browse, oh, but if I just drop a file in, so let's just take a look. Let me have a look. If I just drop a simple file, let me just find something quick. I should have prepared something, but I'm not messing with something I should be able to use in a second. Uh, I was just updating the default provider. Let me go back. Oh, for goodness sake, where did I put this? Okay, let me just give up on that. I'm doing find a file. Uh, this one. I'll take this. Um, this docx. So I can drop the docx in into here. When I drop it in, I can create a new project or translate as a single document. My guess is you've probably gone through here and you're clicking on translate as a single document. If you go here, make sure you hover over the down the over this space and to make sure you pick local project because you might not necessarily want to create a cloud project. So make sure you're, you're clicking the, the correct one. Create local project and this will bring up the wizard at the same time. <coughs> My advice to you would be not to do it this way, <laughs> particularly because I seem to have got some error there at the moment. Oh, I didn't. 
just took it just took, took a while so it's, it's it's the same same with it but the way to do it in my opinion is to just press control n which you can do from any window and it brings up the wizard for you so just remember control n and then it doesn't matter whether you're in the welcome view or you're in the projects view I'll press control n or even if you're in the files view I guess control n there you go so it's pretty simple so that's the way you do it Hopefully that's going to help you and get you a little bit further on your endeavors.